Hey guys, good morning. Good morning, Facebook. I'm coming to you today again live from Rhythmia Life Advancement Center in Costa Rica. It's Jerry. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today more about manifesting because I, I keep getting uh, emails from people that that are having trouble, like trying to figure out the manifesting thing. And and I I got caught up last week talking about manifestation and why I don't call it manifestation anymore, why I call it uh, creating. And it just spawns more questions. Every time I bring this up, it spawns more questions. So let's, let's talk about this. In the spiritual community, and by the way, the spiritual community is my community. I love that community, but they have the most trouble financially than any other subset of communities. And I really believe this, and people say, well, what gives me the right to talk about making money? And the thing that gives me the right to talk about making money is I've done some of it in my life. <coughs> and I'm sorry I'm sick today, so I'm gonna cough, but I became a millionaire in my 20s, a real millionaire. I had $140 million net worth in my 30s. I went broke again in my 30s and started a company and sold it for uh, about $90 million in cash uh, and quit working. So I have a little bit, I can speak to this from a particular standpoint, yeah, that I, I, I know a little bit about this making money. Now, the spiritual community, and I don't have to fight with you over this, most people know it, is a sub-community that has a lot of problems with making money. And, and it's because there's so many false beliefs that go around in this community that aren't in other communities. So what's some of the false beliefs? One of the things that I find the most interesting is, is the word manifestation itself. It's a word that shouldn't be used for, for or shouldn't be uh, used, what, what should really be used is creation. Because uh, manifestation makes one believe more like bewitched, that they wiggle their nose and then the car that they want appears, or they wiggle their nose and then the house that they want appears. And in real life, it's much, much, much different. So this is really how things work. Uh, that's the first thing. The second word that confuses people is flow. So I see a lot of my spiritual friends all the time say, oh my God, it looks like he's working so hard. He's doing it the wrong way. He should be in flow. And you know what I say to that? That's pure bullshit. It's the same people that say that that are constantly trying to borrow money from other people. Uh-huh. Because they're looking for this easy way this way to be in flow and in truth, in real, unadulterated truth, this is how it works. That, that you spend a lot of time building your house and you spend time building your house and building your house and building your house. And then one day when your house is built, there's only one thing left for you to do and that's maintain your house. And maintaining your house looks easy uh, from the outside. The reason it looks easy is because people didn't see the years it took for you to build your house, right? So if you, if you go back and, and analyze every, every single overnight success story, there's this huge time where they were building their house and building their house. And here's, here's what gets confusing. You may be building your house in sunny times like today. And you're out there building your house and the guy next to you is laying down catching some rays and saying, hey, you're doing it the wrong way. But then the rainy day comes and you're inside your house and he's outside of his house. He doesn't have one. And all of a sudden the sentiment changes. Uh huh. But it changes for you when you're too late. So here's the question. Here's the question. And this all comes back to merging your soul. This all comes back to being true and real. Uh, how can I tell if I'm on the wrong path or if I'm just building my house and there's only one way to tell. If, if you feel it in here that you're doing the thing that you should be doing, you're on the right path. If you don't feel it in here and let's say you're doing something, um, I'm just going to pick random stuff. I'm uh, selling stock and I hate selling stock but I'm doing it because one day I want to build this house. Then you're going to build a house that you don't want to live in. Here's the worst thing, to spend 10 years building your house and it's a, 
It's a house that provides comfort and shelter from the rain and all this stuff, but you don't like it. Now you're stuck in a house that you can't leave because it owns you. Oh my God, what a terrible thing. Uh huh. So be really, really careful that the house you're building is the house you love. Uh huh. Because you're going to have to retire in it. You're going to have to live there, right? That's you're building your shelter. So, so I'm going to tell you some earmarks of this thing. If you're building it and you, there's a part of you that knows while you're doing it that it's not what you should be doing, get the fuck out. Build something else. But if you're building it and, and you know it's right and the universe is sending you some messages of testing you, so this is how you get tested when you're building your house. You get tested by uh, plagues and fires and all kinds of shit. But you feel it in here and you stick with it. And you're telling the universe, yes, it's mine. And I'm sticking with it. That I get given the end result. Uh huh. Because if it's mine, it's mine. And if I feel it, it's mine. Now, if I build that house and, and, and I finally get done and it's providing these things for me. There's, there's, there's parts of them that don't understand uh, what, what, how to tell if they're on it or not. So I'm going to tell you some facts that you don't want to hear, especially if you're, and I love New Agers, but, but if you think for a second that you're going to, to, that if you think for a second that you're just going to wish this thing into existence and somebody else is going to do all the work and hand it to you, you, you don't need, you don't need, uh, more spiritual concepts, you, you need something, I don't know what you need, but you, you, you got to get a dose of truth. The truth of it is this, it's going to take, it's going to be harder than you thought, it's going to take longer than you thought, and your success is going to be greater than you thought. Listen, harder than you thought, longer than you thought, and your success is going to be greater than you thought. If it resonates in here. And that's the way to tell if you're on the right path. If it resonates in here. So if your friends are telling you to not do it, that look at you tried for five years and it hasn't worked yet. Look at this, look at that. You know what to do? <clears throat> Nod your head, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And don't buy an inch of it. Because, because if you're doing what you love to do, and if the universe, if the universe is testing, uh, uh, if it's testing, your commitment to the thing that you're going after, then just sit there and don't listen. Just keep going. And if you keep going and keep going and keep going, you're going to get it. And it's, and here's the nice thing. Houses that are built meticulously, slow and with care. Let's talk about this. You can build a house overnight. You can get, you can have people you don't know helping you with the house. Uh-huh. But in the first windstorm, in the, for, in the first tornado, in the first hurricane, that house is gone. The way I like to build them is I like to be involved in every detail. And they take longer and they're harder to build, but they last forever. So you want something that lasts forever. And if, you're, if everybody has given up on you, everybody has given up on you and you're sticking true to the thing that you want and you love it, the hell with them. Uh -huh. You don't want to be a snob about it, but you don't want to listen to them because they don't know they're not you. Only you are you. And you know if this thing is right. And if you leave the thing that you're right to build the, the thing that you're right about, which means the thing that resonates with who you really are, and you go to build something that's quick, cheap, and easy, you're going to hate living in that house. You're going to hate living in that house. And then every time you see somebody in the house that you really wanted, you're gonna feel terrible. In this life, although we've lived it thousands of times, 
This one is the one that you remember now. So God Almighty, try to do what's going to give you the most bang for your life. Uh huh. And here's the thing, I'm going to tell you what. The easy way is the hard way. What? The easy way is the hard way. The easy way is the hard way. Nobody in the spiritual community is going to love this, but it's the truth. And, 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 and then the inverse is true. The hard way is the easy way. What do you mean by that? What I mean by that is this. Take your time. Build your house. Make sure it's the house that you want. Don't let anybody talk you out of it. And in the end, you're going to get it. And when you get it, your life is going to get markedly easier. So the, the hard way is the easy way, and the easy way is the hard way. Let's go to the other side. The easy way. Here's the easy way. Do what's easy. Uh huh. Wait to be in flow. Boom. Uh, try to resonate with it so that it appears. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, win the lottery. Do these things. That's easy. And guess where they all? Seventy-five percent of all lottery winners are bankrupt within three years. It's not the way to go. It's not the way to go. The way to go is the hard way, and the hard way is easy. The hard way is easy. So so please stick with this shit. If, if you're on the right horse, if you feel like, oh my God, this is my life's calling, this is what I want to do, this is what I'm supposed to do, then stick with it. Uh -huh. if, if so what if hardship comes? The universe will always test your resolve. It's part of nature. Uh, when you look at a river that carved its way through a mountain, persistence is what did it. And your persistence is what counts. And your persistence is what's godlike. And when you come to Rhythmia, we run this place in Costa Rica, when you come here and you get crystal clear, then all of this makes sense. All of this makes sense, right? Because you get here and all of a sudden the bullshit is out of your life. And, and what is the bullshit? The bullshit is, is uh, and, and I don't dislike anybody because they're making a living, but, but a lot of the, the more slippery... Uh, thought leaders that tell you you don't have to do anything. You know why? If I'm selling you something that tells you you don't have to do anything, then you like it, you listen to it, and you gain followers. That ain't me. Uh huh. That ain't me because it's a lie. So I don't care. I, listen, I, I don't want to mislead one person, uh huh. Let alone tens of thousands, right? So here's the truth. If you go back to ancient writings and things that are real. Uh, you know, all these things that people say, oh my God, that's old fashioned. Hard work, thrift, consistency, sticking with something. All these things that are now old fashioned and passe, uh-huh, are real. And, and you know what? Take a look at the guys who do it, do it. Really take a look at the guys who do it. And it's Steve Jobs, take a look at Gary Vee, take a look at, at uh, Warren Buffett, take a look at these guys and you know what you find out? They're meticulous, they're consistent, and they don't quit. It's simple, simple stuff. This has already been decided. Don't let somebody bullshit you into you leaving your own opportunities. Don't let somebody do it. Don't let your mother-in-law do it. Don't let some uh, uh, motivational guy do it. Don't let anybody do it. This is your life. This ain't her life. This isn't his life. This is your life. And you know what? Every day it counts. You know, like there's, there's days that I get sick, that I don't want to do this, the da 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 da, or I'm tired. And you know what? I get up and I do it. And I do it no matter what. And you got to do it no matter what. If you do it no matter what, you get there. You get there and then you own the whole enchilada. It's all yours. Meaning this the house that I'm building is hard. The life that I'm going to live in it when I'm done is easier. That's a fact. You, you don't want to be 70 years old and, and deciding what's going to happen to you, to push your stuff onto your children. To, to, you, this is not how to do things. It's not responsible. And you know what? There, there is a responsibility. Here's, here's what people say. They, well, that, that, that is materialistic. That's not friggin' materialistic. Uh huh. If you don't think that way, you know what you're doing? You're hurting everybody around you. You're pushing the burden of yourself to others. Uh -huh. You're pushing the burden of yourself to others. That's what you're doing. 
And this guy here says he's talking about thrift. Has he seen what they charge for a week? Only rich people can. That's bullshit, dude. Tori, Troy, or whatever your name is. That is unadulterated crap. If you can't afford it, there's a million places you can go to get to get this kind of thing. Um, but I would question myself if I was of any age and I didn't have a few thousand bucks. That I would question how I look at the world. But that's between you and the world, uh, not not between me and you. And I'm not picking on you. Uh, cool. So so this is the kind of thing that that I'm talking about. So any excuse is an excuse keeping you from what you want. So don't listen to people. Uh, keep doing the thing that you're doing. Don't give up. Stay the course. Do, do everything in your power to keep it going because everybody's going to try to take you off your game. Like everybody's gonna try to get you out of the thing. And you know what? Don't let anybody because anytime you allow that, you gave your power to that person. To that person who generally has nothing, you know, like so. So don't give your power away. Don't give. Don't don't let somebody who has much less than you take you down to where they live and how they see the world. Don't do it. So so that means everything. That means like everything from from your aunt to your mother-in-law to your dad saying, "Hey, you got to get a real job." If if people had to get a real job all the time, uh, we'd miss some of the greatest people. Some of the biggest companies were started in garages. This is all truth, right? It's all truth. And it's not easy. Like, if, if you want me to tell you that this is easy, building a company, building a career, becoming a great basketball player, becoming a great mother, becoming a great anything, you're out of your tree. It's all hard. If you spend your life trying to make it easy, you know how many years you invest in that? The whole thing. If you're going to try to shortcut this, you're going to invest your whole life in a shortcut that never comes to fruition. So this is what to do. Stand back, take it slow, build the house, know that it's gonna be harder and take longer, and know that it's gonna be greater than anything you've ever expected. That's how to do it. And you know what? You'll be happy. You will. Because you know the funniest thing is? Working in that way, meticulous, conscientious, and, and well thought out, uh, is, is pretty enjoyable shit. And I'm not kidding you. So please, by all means, give this a try. And listen, I started out broke like everybody. And I mean broke, broke. Uh, broke beyond what broke is. I slept on tables like I was broke, broke, broke. So, so don't tell me that you can't do it and don't tell me that the opportunity is not available. It's all here for anybody who wants it. And, and, and please come to Rhythmia. And if you want a shortcut, come here. Does it cost money? Absolutely fucking right it does. Uh-huh, it does. Does it cost a lot of money? Not if you ask the people who have been here. They say it's the cheapest thing they ever bought in, the, in, in their life. Uh-huh. Go ahead, there's only 550 of them on TripAdvisor talking about it. And that's the best value in the world. We give The reason I'm successful is because I create things of great value. And there is such value in this. There is. And I want you to have it. Speaking of that, uh, a lot of people like coming when it's less busy. And, and we do have some times that are coming up that are, that are less busy. There's one in March, the 24th through the 31st. Uh, and her name is Caroline Muir. Uh, she does Tantra Yoga and Divine Feminine work that men can enjoy just like women. Uh -huh. More men come to those usually than women, except for Majesty, which is all women. Um, but that is March 24th to 31st of 2019. And we're light that week. Now, here's something else that's happening. When I say that we're light uh, about a week in the future, by the time we get halfway there, we're sold out again. So, so... So, and so let's talk about this a second because there's a big misconception about this going on. Uh -huh. there's, there's a misconception in the plant community from people that don't really understand or haven't collected data about how uh, collective energy works. They, they just don't understand because they've never collected the data. So I'm the first guy in... Uh, plant medicine that we believe that's collected a mass amount of data. 
And, and what we found is this. The more people in ceremony, the higher the miracle rate on an electronic, self-reported basis from the people who stay here. And I have about, about 16,800 and some odd data points right now. What? Yeah, the bigger the ceremony, the bigger the workshops, the higher the miracle rate, not the reverse. So there's something that, and, and you can't nail this down to scientifics, but I believe <coughs> there is something about the collective energy of the group that changes everything. And so please come here and please, I mean, there's all kinds of ways to do that. Uh, the easiest way to shortcut the success thing is to have this soul merger. So please come here, come to Rhythmia. I'm going to give you a number. I have to see it back there. 1-866, that's 1-866-936-9446. Please come here. Please dial that number. Please book your, 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 your trip. Uh, it's really, really, really a cool place. And, uh, and I'm not the only guy saying it. Uh, and I'm not saying it because it's mine. I'm saying it because it's, it's everybody's and it's, it's a place of, of tremendous healing, uh, the greatest healing in the world. That's why we have board members like uh, Dr. Gabor Mate and Graham Hancock. Uh, you know, you don't get a board of directors like that if, uh, if the place isn't good. And that's why we have guest speakers like Michael Beckwith, Panache Desai. I mean, these guys are amazing. Panache was here last week, and the energy was so high in the Maloka, I thought it was going to fly up into the air. Crazy. Uh, so please, guys, please come. If you have questions about what medicines you can take and you can't take, just call that number. There's no charge. It's 1-866-936-9446. And whatever you do today, don't give up on your dream. Don't give up on doing the thing that you love to do. And don't let anybody talk you out of it. Uh huh. God bless you guys. Have a great week. And uh, we love you. And hopefully we're going to see you at Rhythmia soon. God bless you. God keep you. Cheers.